We need some slivers. We need a couple Modern Horizons pack. Let's get the show on the road. We're going to start here with two pack openings right off the bat. We're going to start with uh, our buddy Jim. We got a call out for him. And then Ogre Kane, you're going to be next. So we got JJ. JJ up on top. All right. First pack of Modern Horizons. All right. We'll give him the Sarah. Good luck. Here we go. Brand new pack. So we're starting it off with some Masters pack. And, uh, okay, good. Voices of Chaos says we'll play next week. Good, good. It looks like, uh, looks like connectivity is pretty good today. I'm not seeing any, uh, one drop, so hopefully, uh, fingers crossed. We'll keep you guys, uh, in the loop here, and we'll go through some, uh, Magic the Gathering packs, opening them live. Thank you all. Wow, look at that art card. That's pretty cool. Little, uh, skeleton frame. Wow, that's the art card. So, the Masters packs have some interesting cards. So, in addition to, you always get a token. So, these aren't actually magic cards. They have, oh, double-sided. They have different packs, but when you, certain cards, you know, you need tokens, so you get a little bit of extra of these in the pack. It's just can, kind of considered a bonus. Some people collect them, some people don't. Same thing with the art card. All right, so we're going to start, because the rares are in the front, we're going to start in the back of this pack. Here we go for Jimmy Boy. Um, any cards that you guys are collecting? So Jim said he's collecting Theros on Commons Commons. I know uh, some of these Masters packs, Jim doesn't like the, doesn't collect the Commons as much, or he's got some. Um, may, maybe for Masters you want all the cards, let me know, but I know... Um, We've got Unreal Kaiser in chat. He loves Sliver, so if we open your pack and you got a Sliver, you don't mind uh, getting the Sliver. He is making a Sliver deck, so. Sleeve it or leave it, baby. All right, Jim says yes for the art card. You got it, buddy. Astrolabe, that's worth something, right? Astrolabe, that's a great card in Modern. I think that's the best common you can hit in the set. I'll have to look it up. Oops. Sorry about hitting the camera. Oh, we've got two com two commons now. Snow creature, snow crab. So let me know if I'm going too fast. Ah, Crypt Rats has uh, been reprinted a bunch, but a uh, card that used to have a ton of value, especially on Magic Online. So you get to uh, wipe out some creatures, do a little board wipe. Glacial Revelation. There we go. I think the focus is best when I put them down. Put any snow permanents. Wow, so this would include lands. So if you had lands and snow creatures, this creature can draw a bunch. Alright. Crypt Rats, definitely classic. Alright, Dismantling Blow. I like the art on this one. This is this is pretty cool. I feel like I've been in this cathedral in Europe. Alright. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. If it was spe spell was kicked, draw two cards. So, question for you, Voice of Chaos. I'm looking at doing a mono white deck for my um uh for Sarah. Uh, Planeswalker, can I play something that has a blue kicker cost? Is this illegal in white, or can it only have white? And then for lands, can you play lands that can tap to make blue? How does that work a little bit? Fill us in. Ren and six. All right, Jim. Come on, let's go. We're going to get a snow land first. Snow-covered mountain is our land. Looks a little shiny. Not foil, but mountain. Okay, let me know if you're looking for the snow-covered land. What is going to be our rare? It's going to be blue. Arc, Mage's Charm. Oh, there's a bonus. There's a foil. All right, we got a foil Modern Horizons card. Cool. Reign of Revelation. Draw three cards, then discard. Not bad at instant. All right, Archmage's Charm. Wow. Ah, cannot play uh, this one. Thank you, uh, Voice of Chaos. I thought so. I thought so. Voice of Chaos, he knows a lot about magic, so he's our, he's our question and answer guy, typically. All right, so you can either counter a spell for three blue. Target player draws two cards at instant speed. Not bad. Or gain control of non-land permanent. Gain control of target non-land permanent. So you, you can steal their soul ring. That's pretty cool, man. Uh, this this could be uh, played in some um, mono blue uh, mono blue commander decks. That would be fun. Oops, hold on. Got the wrong sleeves. PK loves the snowlands. All right. So, Jim, let me know your picks. Um, so... So as you come, uh, Kane, and hang out in the stream, you'll kind of get, get a feel for how things go. Um, pretty much, you know, um, there's certain cards that people are looking for. So this is Jim's pack. Any cards he wants, I keep. I set aside for him in a mailer. We've actually got a big mailer set aside for me somewhere. We've got a big stack to send him. So you can pick all the cards you want, and we'll keep them in a, in a little... Uh, we'll keep, keep them in a little uh, plastic for you. And uh, with the eBay purchase that you just made, I'll send you any three or four. I can fit in a little envelope. I'll send you four for free now, and then we'll keep collecting more later as you tune back in, and we'll ship them, ship them to you at some point in the future. You know, it's a little bit uh, more expensive. 
cost like four to six bucks for our bigger mailer. So we ask for a little donation or we'll do a giveaway. So, all right. Um, Jim says he wants the Astrolabe, the foil, and the rare, and the art card. Astrolabe, foil, rare, art card. You got it. So that means snow land up for grabs? Somebody want a snow land? All right. So uh, let's do this. Let's sleeve the, uh, the foil and the Astrolabe. Yeah, what are those uh, Astrolabes going for now? Boys of Chaos wants a Master Pack. Uh, for you, buddy, uh, I would say three slices of pizza. And uh, so usually Master Packs are like, I think, I don't know, six bucks. What do they go for? Uh, Kev, if you want me to open one for you, just give me the word. And I know you're good for it. We'll we'll uh, we'll settle it up later. But um, Kev, Kevin is the brother of my uh, landlord here. My roommate, a.k.a. boss. So, um, so, okay. So, we got the Astrolabe. We got the uh, Foil. We got the Charm. And we got the sweet, sweet art card. Let's check the price real quick on, on a couple of these, and then we'll get them in uh, gym. And the reason, part of the reason we do a planeswalker is that so that when you see me putting cards in your little uh, pack here, we know it's the right one. So, just remind me. Chicago style pizza, deep dish. Hey, for three slices of deep dish, you you can have all mo modern masters packs all day, man. I was talking about like the things. Is that Marcucci? Is that we got we got our Marcucci man in the house? We got a little mailer for you, but ready, buddy. Look at this. Sarah Angel's in the house. He was there. He was on the stream that day. All right. Um, hey, we appreciate you uh, stopping in anytime, Michael. Always good to see you, buddy. We should be getting your Erebos uh, out to you uh, right away. So we, I, I got the mailer made. I got to get out in the mail. So good to see you guys. Okay, two slices. All right, yeah. If you guys want to trade, we do. We do. We talk trades on the stream. We talk about uh, selling packs and uh, pizza. Yeah, so pizza's good. All right, let's see. Um, pizza for reverse. I know. I know. I don't think I've ever traded Power Nine for pizza, but uh, I've definitely traded some revised. So. So all right. Um, let's let's take a look. Price check. I get I get distracted. We gotta get we gotta get back to the packs. We got. Uh, all right, so let's take a look at what's the astrolabe worth nowadays. This card sees a lot of play in modern. It is uncommon in modern masters, but um, their new search function on TCG Player breaks. Is that just me, or is that someone else noticing that? You got to refresh the page a lot. Still no. Yeah, the Astrolabe, great card. Costs one snow mana. And it's, yeah, it's going for 50 cents. I think it was over a buck a little bit ago. We got the Foil Reign of Revelation. Don't know that as much. What's this charm worth? Some of the charms, um, there's actually some of the older charms I'm looking for putting in my Commander deck. Commander's my favorite format, as is I think most of you out there too. It's the card where you always get one Commander on the side that you get to play, and then you make a 100 card deck. Hey, the foil's not uh, the uh, yeah three sixty is not bad for uh, for the charm. All right, Jimmy boy, we'll get this and let's talk more towards the end of the stream about uh, getting you the mailer and getting you some of those Theros uh, comments and uncommons that you're looking for. All right, so we got Jim's Masters pack. Thank you for uh, being our loyal sub. Jim was there episode one, day one of the stream, so we appreciate you. Ah, uh, refreshing cookies. Hey, we got some good. I got some ISP help out there. I, I need to know how to make the internet work. My internet's slow. We crashed the stream a lot. All right. Um, there we go. We got all the recognitions. Donations are made. Okay, Voices of Chaos is in for Master's Pack. So first, not, next we got Kane's Master Pack. PK, you with us? I think PK said he's looking for some uh, Snow Mountain. Let me know, PK. Uh, the rest of the Master's Pack will set aside. And we got some more packs. We're going to have a big pack opening show today, Friday. Tomorrow's going to be a big day, guys. I made some big eBay purchases. We got packages coming in the mail. Kev, I think I sent you the link um, on this ridiculousness. I bought an eBay option. Let's say I bought more than four pre-con decks on eBay in one listing and less than six. And maybe a, like a fat pack or two. So anyways... 
Yeah, power cycle. I, I did, I was worried because we get little power blips. I put it on like a surge protected thing. Let me know what power cycle means, Jim, if I need to like turn it off or on. So, all right. All right, guys, just email, email me all this uh, network help. We'll get, we'll get the stream running so it's watchable. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, let's get the uh, call up. So Kane, this is gonna be your uh, Mon Horizons pack as a subscriber. Hey, let's get you one more pack off on simple. Okay, cool, Jim. That's right that. So we have we have some more packs, uh, Kane. So let me know while we get into this pack. Uh, we we're gonna open you some. We need to open you two Theros for your eBay purchase. We'll even go way back to Dominaria if you'd like. Pick pick a uh, pick what you what would you like your eBay pack to be? We've got Theros. War of the Spark, Throne of the Eldrain, Guilds of Ravnica. We've got, uh, we've, we've got an Ixalan. I think we've got M M19. So these are older sets. If you want the most recent set, Throne of Eldrain is like the most po popular. War of the Spark is all the Planeswalkers. Theros is the newest one. So pick pick any set that you'd like. We got some older ones. We'll open your pack. Not not the Fallen Empires. Though. We got, we got to save this one for another stream. We'll, we'll open it at some point. Can't wait. I can't wait to open this uh, pack. Hopefully the cards in there are still minty. All right. Hey, so yeah, let me know if you want Dominaria. Dominaria is actually the, the best value. It rotated it out, but we had a bunch of packs left over from when we started the stream. So the price on those packs have gone up. So let's open your uh, Modern Horizons. And then if you want a Dominaria next, no problem. And uh, the pack opening is not start stopping there. We're, we'll keep opening. We're going to keep we're gonna keep this show going. So good, good to see you guys. Thanks for everybody tuning in today making it a great show like always modern horizons for our buddy kane first time viewer he's already hooked he's already a tier one sub thank you buddy here we go modern horizons pack let me know if uh what you're like for your second pack so can we get another foil card there's a planeswalker in the set that's worth a little bit of money you got a goblin all right goblin guy can i not reveal the rare Ooh, there we go all right, we've got an art card. This one is like a lion. It's it's a weird, it's a little bit of a choppy image. Crazy. I, at first I was like, wait, is this a misprint? No. I think, uh, there's like another. Guys, is this a misprint? This this looks weird. This doesn't seem like how the art card would normally go. Let, let me know. Can we send this back? Can we send this back and get a new one? Ren and Six. All right. And then, so these are snow-covered lands. This is, this is like an old... Pe people, what, do they play snow in, in modern? Older format, so it's not a typical land. It's a special land. They're actually worth a little bit more money. So we'll go ahead and set all of these cards aside from you, uh, uh, Kane, and then we'll email you a list of all the possible cards you can pick uh, for, for you to mail in. So you don't have to make the picks now. We'll, we'll e email you the full list because we're going to open you at least two packs today. Cycling card, cool. Chiller Pillar, we got the art card behind me up on the wall. Chill, chiller pillar. You gotta make it monstrous with some snow mana. This little symbol means you gotta pay it with the snow cost, like the snow lands. Soul strike technique. The chiller pillar. Twin silk spider. So you cast this guy and you get a bonus. Two for one. Unearth. Yeah, we're going a little bit slower just so uh, Kane gets a feel for the cards. So these master cards are going to be, in general, a little bit stronger than the cards you see um, in uh, in the newer packs. Modern is a, is a faster format. Power level's higher because you got more sets to deal with. I think we got one of these in our last pack, too. Little mana ramp artifact. Echo. Orcish Hellraiser. I like this art. Look at the scorpion like melting down. That's pretty cool. So he's a changeling, so that's cool. So technically he's all creatures, including slivers. And he's got death touch. But he doesn't buff your other slivers, unfortunately. Stream of Thought. Interesting. I don't think I've seen this one before. I'm a, I'm a mono blue player as well way back. Control player, I would say. Blue, blue, white. Would be my two favorite colors I've had to pick two. Wow, fact or fiction. Iconic card, uncommon. Used to be worth a ton of money on Magic Online. They've reprinted it now. This card is like a defining card of its time. 
So blue loves to have all of the counter magic open. And then at the end of your opponent's turn, because this is an instant, you can play this card. Your opponent, you take the top five of your, your cards of your, their library. Your opponent separates those cards into two piles. Oh, man. I used to love on Magic Online when they would make a mistake and put all the cards in one pile. So you're just like, okay, I'll click that pile. And um, you get a... So with this card, you get to pick which pile um, you put into your hand. So you see all the cards... And then you get either two or three cards in your hand, depending on how the split is, the cards you need. So Factor Fiction, awesome card if you want to make a, a blue deck. I think every blue commander deck's got to have one Factor Fiction, right? Okay, cool. Multicolored blue-white card. Spirit. It's common archetype. He gets bigger whenever you exile a creature. And in each of your end turns, you get to exile one creature and then put him back into control. This could be a little blue-white uh, control -y spirit. All right, where are we? I don't think we're at the rare yet. Yep, not yet, not yet. One more uncommon. This, this, this art looks This looks like an older card for to me. Cascade. Re oh, it's got Cascade and Retrace. So pretty much this card you just play for these two effects. One reveals cards from the tops of your library until you get a card that costs less. And you get to cast that card without paying its cost. And then Retrace... You can also play it from your graveyard by discarding a land and playing it again. So, Throws of Chaos. This is a card uh, Jim loves. Throws of Chaos. Yeah. All right. Let's go flip it back over for the reveal now. We got Snow Covered Forest as the land. And where is our... Hey, it's a sliver. Spiteful Sliver. So we haven't seen too many rare slivers yet on stream. Sliver creatures you control, and whenever this creature is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to target player or planeswalker. Interesting. So actually, that, that really buffs up the slivers a lot. That's a great sliver. 